computer simulations strengthen the case for the presence of a second sun, that is, a binary system. Bended Reality reports, astronomer from Quebec, Gilles Couture, that is in Montreal, Canada, conducted a study using computer simulations. Because of this, he was able to prove that early in the solar system, stars, there was a duet. But one of them left our galaxy and flew in the space provided, leaving the sun in its splendid isolation, he says. According to the study conducted by the astronomer, the weight of the mysterious star was two to three times less than that of the sun, and the speed of its movement ranged from 25 to 100 kilometers a second. The astronomer did not say when the second star was in our solar system, although in all probability it could be a fairly short time. Apparently, it's the presence of the second, the stars are in our galaxy, were the cause of the unusual elongated shape of the orbits of some planets are in the Kuiper belt beyond Neptune, which contains a huge number of blocks of ice. To affect the orbits of the planets, the, the, the effect of the orbits of the planets could have some kind of a rogue planet whose mass should be 16 times more than our Earth. Now, you'll see that they did find a rogue planet a few years back, just outside of our solar system. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. So there is a presence apparently of a second star in our galaxy. Cause of the unusually elongated shape of orbits of some planets are in the Kuiper belt beyond Neptune, which contains a huge number of blocks of ice. To affect the orbits of the planets could have some kind of rogue planet whose mass should be 16 times more than Earth. Previously, it was thought that the gravitational pull, the orbits of trans-Neptunian objects could be due to the existence of Planet X, or Nibiru, or Planet 9, as Caltech calls it. This explained the location of other planets and celestial bodies. In addition, the researchers identified five factors proving the existence of the ninth account of the planet, the ninth planet. Thus, it's usual to all mankind the concept of the existence of one single star in the solar system undergoing change. Although scientists assume that the boundary of the Oort cloud, there's another star to watch that every 32 million years, I think this is obviously a translation from French, uh, that's why the grammar is off. Now, of course, given such a considerable period of time, it's not surprising that it is still, uh, they're still tracking this planet and no one has seen it. Now, by the way, our, sist our solar system is unique compared to others because they are basically it's a binary system, they're having two stars, whereas we have only been viewing one up to now, uh, one with such a wealth of planets have their own orbit. As a potential second star, scientists periodically assume a brown or red dwarf nemesis. Now, uh, recently, of course, as we said, there was a lady from NASA a couple of years back telling us that we do have a brown dwarf star at the edge of our solar system. As we know, the brown dwarf is uh, bigger than a, a huge planet, but not enough um, f fusion is going on to make it a star. So it is a huge planet at the edge of our solar system, which obviously could be having uh, gravitational effects on the outer planets of our solar system. Now, although 30 years ago, they were more confident that this, the screen follows mass extinctions that have befallen our planet and other global events were to blame uh, were, uh, they were to blame Nemesis, that is Planet X or Nibiru, as already mentioned, once in 32 million years, but even then find it almost impossible, as the Northern Hemisphere has more than 3,000 potential candidates. The Nemesis scientists, that is Planet X Nibiru scientists, have also attributed the extinction of the dinosaurs, which could happen because of an asteroid or comet impact, disturbed by Planet X nemesis Nibiru in the Oort cloud. In 1984, astronomers Richard Muller first suggested that the companion star 
of the, our binary star provides the rotation around the sun in such a huge time period, assembled a team of colleagues to search for the mysterious nemesis that is Nibiru or Planet X. They studied the stars belonging to the current spectral type. He's been studying more than 3,000 fields, that is almost all red dwarfs in the Northern Hemisphere. Thus, the number of potential candidates was greatly reduced, even with a limited number of days when it's easy to observe these stars. Theoretically, the two stars of the system, that is the binary system, cannot be limited to known even with six stars, but astronomers did some calculations and they concluded that the solar system will appear again with the binary star and it will happen in about 1.3 million years. Now, the potential candidate for the title of the second star, our binary star in our solar system, is a star assigned to the star Gilles 710, G-I-L-E-S-E, -E, which through the above mentioned period will be removed from our lights in the 16,000 astronomical units. Besides, at this point, scientists predict asteroid comet collapse, which will start at the time of joining orange dwarf, which is Gili 710, in the gravitational area of our solar system. The orbits of the planets will change, as in our galaxy and the Oort cloud, obviously because of the fact that this binary star is approaching us. Obviously, the planets in our solar system are going to be uh, changing their orbits now because of the gravitational pulls. Now, a close collision of stars, in principle, the event is inevitable as the solar system moves into the constellation as well as other stars that have their own paths. Fortunately, given the cosmic ways of measuring the close collision, scientists call the situation that occurs when the distance between the objects is many trillions of kilometers, although the cause of the cloud of comets potentially more than 300,000 stars. Now, it should be noted that frequent mentions of the fact that the stars go out, I especially love to use these uh, terms in various prophecies, but this does not mean that the stars literally will cease to glow. It just means that they'll change their positions because such a huge cosmic body with a giant mass accumulate an uh, incredible amount of energy that is used in fusion processes and emitted over millions of years. This radiation occurs not only when the heavenly body is alive, but for a long time after the star's extinction. But then it ceases to exist and disappears into nowhere. It's either transformed uh, into a white dwarf or is reborn in a supernova uh, exploding. The more absurd it seems in the statement that all the stars can go out at the same time. Another thing is that the inhabitants of the Earth immersed in the cares and problems just once at least from time to time raise her head and admire a scattering of brilliant lights in our sky. So this is by Stop Are You, Magic T CTR, and it's on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.